The Mariners looking to avoid the sweep in the Bronx, and they'd have to deal with Andy Pettit, making his first Major League start since the 2010 ALCS. Top of the first, one on, one out for Ichiro Suzuki. Suzuki chops one to short, and Derek Jeter will take it himself for the inning-ending double play. Bottom three, Kevin Millwood in a two-on-one-out jam, but he gets Jeter to wrap into the 5-4-3 double play, inning over. Top four, still scoreless. Mariner still without a hit until Justin Smoke steps in with a man on. Well struck, deep left field. That ball is gone. A two-run homer for Justin Smoke. And the Mariners with their first hit of the ball game. It's a two-run shot by Smoke. Two-nothing Seattle. Bottom four, Millwood facing Curtis Granderson, and he strikes out Granderson swinging, career strikeout number 2,000 for the veteran right-hander Millwood. Top of the sixth, it's now 2-1 to one Seattle, but Casper Wells up with a man on and looking to add to the lead. Goes right side, down the line, got some carry. Hits the fair pole and it's gone! A two-run homer by Albany, New York native Casper Wells in his debut game here at Yankee Stadium. Mariners up 4-1 to one on the first home run of the season from Casper Wells. Still in the sixth, bases loaded one out, Mike Karp at the plate, Karp chops one to first, and Mark Deshera steps on first for one and comes home to Russell Martin for the unconventional double play. Pettit gives the fist pump, six in the third innings pitch, four earned runs allowed. Bottom eight, 4-1 Mariners still, man on first for Derek Jeter. Jeter singles into left field and a bit of history for the captain. He passes Tony Gwynn on the all-time hits list and ties Robin Yount for 16th on the all-time charts with hit number 3142 in his career. Same frame, now 4-2 Seattle. Mark Teixeira up with two outs and the bases loaded, facing Charlie Furbish, and Teixeira goes down swinging. The Yankees rally ends, and the Yankees would get no closer. The Mariners win it by a final of 6-2. Kevin Millwood picks up his first win of the season. He goes seven innings and allows just one earned run. And Andy Pettit takes the loss. He's now 11-12 all-time against the Mariners. The Mariners the only American League team against which Andy Pettit has a losing record.